Welcome to Gooseberry Kitchen. So today we'll see how to make this yummy chocolatey donuts without eggs. So come on, let's go. So first we will need to sift our dry ingredients. So I have one cup of all-purpose flour or maida, one by four teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and we'll sift the flour so that we don't get any lumps. In another vessel, we'll warm one by fourth cup of milk. Just warm it and add about one and a half tablespoons of sugar. It should be warm, not hot, because we're gonna add yeast to it. So we'll add about one teaspoon of yeast. Just mix it well. And after this, we will allow this to rest for about 10 minutes. Keep it covered. And now we will melt 2 tablespoons of butter. Melt it on low heat, otherwise it will get burnt. You can also choose to double boil. It's done. Now we'll let it cool. So now let's check our yeast mixture. So you can see the froth on the top. So this means the yeast is activated. To this we will add the melted cooled butter. Half teaspoon of vanilla, it's vanilla essence, and now we'll start kneading our dough. For that, make a well in the center and add the yeast mixture. And we'll start kneading it. We need to knead it into a nice fine dough. Knead it for at least 5 minutes. Just add some water, add only warm water and keep kneading it. We need to make a very smooth dough, so kneading is very important. So it's done. Now we will cover the dough and let it rest for about 2 hours. So don't open it before that. So after 2 hours, Let's check our dough. See, it's doubled in size. So now we will punch the dough and then knead it once again. Just knead it for another two to three minutes. And we'll divide it into two parts to make it easier to roll out. Spread a plastic sheet to roll it out. I like to roll it out this way because it prevents the dough from sticking onto the base. So let's roll it out into a thick circle like this and now we will cut it out. I'm using a cookie cutter here. If you don't have a cookie cutter, don't worry. You can use a lid of any bottle to cut it. So now let's cut it out. form a circle like this and I'm making a hole in the center using the cap of a Sprite bottle. And now we will make more donuts by rolling it out again. So we will be repeating this process again and again until we have used up the complete dough to make donuts. So I'll just show you again. So I have cut out all the donuts. Just apply oil on this using a brush or even your finger. Now I have put all the donuts in one vessel while cutting it out. But I'll take four or five donuts and put it in a separate vessel because we will let it rest for another half an hour for the dough to rise. So it needs enough space. So in the meantime, we will prepare the chocolate dip. I have one tablespoon of butter, which I will just smoothen using this blender. You can also use a fork, and butter is optional. You can skip it if you don't want. 
add one by four teaspoon of vanilla essence, half cup of powdered sugar, and one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. Just mix it well. Add some warm milk to make a thick sauce. It shouldn't be very thin. It shouldn't be very thick also. So now we will start preparing our donuts. So we are going to fry them. Take a pan. Add oil up to half inch height of the pan. Heat the flame on low medium. So we will check the heat with a small piece of dough. Because we don't want to get our donuts burnt right. So we will just check it with this. If the heat is right then we will add the donuts. So let's just flip it over. See the heat is too much. So just reduce the heat and now add your donut. It takes only 15 to 20 seconds on one side and we'll flip it over. Now we'll remove the donut. One cup of flour gave me about 11 donuts. So now it's time for the chocolate bath. So dip the donut into the chocolate sauce and spin it clockwise. And wow! That's our chocolatey yummy donut ready to eat and I just cannot wait to take a bite and see the inside it's perfectly done so cook share enjoy <laughs>